Hi you guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how to screen share on WhatsApp. I'm going to be showing you how to do this on your iPhone, so have your device on hand so you can follow along. But really quickly before we get started, I'd like to give a special thank you to James Bradney for the super sticker. We enabled these stickers to basically let people fund the channel with whatever amount of money that they like. This really helps me and everyone working behind the scenes on these videos to continue making them and help people out. If you'd like to participate in something like that, I'll show you how to do this at the end of the video. But once again, thank you so much, James. I and everyone else really appreciate it. All right, let's get back to the video. So screen sharing is super simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is launch your WhatsApp, and then you're going to select the person you want to call or screen share with. If you already have a chat started with that person, you can just select it. Otherwise, you can start a new chat by clicking the plus symbol on the top right hand side. And then you can search them by name or number. So you can only screen share if you're video calling that person. The video call, you're going to hit the camera icon in the top right corner. And this is going to start calling that person. So once that person has um, picked up, you're just going to tap on the screen. And then down at the bottom here, you have a few different options. And so the second option here is the screen sharing. And then at the top here, you have the screen broadcast option. And so you're just going to simply click that. And when you do, it's going to share everything on my screen that I'm looking at. The person on the other end can see that. I'll show you an example of what that would look like. I'm going to click the screen broadcast option. Then I'm just going to go down to the bottom and select WhatsApp and then I'm going to click start broadcast. And so now the person on the other end is gonna be able to see everything that I look at. So for example, um, if I wanted to show somebody photos of something or maybe a file, and if you watch here, if I turn my camera here, it's going to go to landscape mode on the other person's end as well. So you can change the layout and the format. As a bonus tip today, I'm going to show you guys how to create a call link on WhatsApp. So this can be really helpful if you're scheduling a meeting and you want to send somebody a link to a call. This can also be easier than sending sending somebody a certain number to call. Instead, you can just simply send them a link. We're going to launch our WhatsApp. And then we're going to click on calls at the bottom here. And this is going to bring us to our call history. And at the top, just beneath calls, we're going to find the create a call link option. So I'm going to select this. And here we have a bunch of different information. So it's just gonna give us a bit of information on this. Anyone with WhatsApp can use this link to join this call. So obviously only share it with people you trust and only share it with people whom you want to join the call with you. And then beneath this, we have the call type. So right now it's on video, but if I wanted to change that, I can simply change it to a voice call. And then beneath here, we have the send link via WhatsApp. So you can just send this link to somebody that you have on WhatsApp. You can copy the link and send it through a different form of communication. Um, you can share the link. So when I click this, it's just going to bring up a bunch of options. So I could airdrop it. I could text it, email it, um, save it to my Google Drive, etc. I can even save it to my files if I wanted to. And then another really important one is adding it to a calendar. So once again, if it is a meeting or something and it's going to take place in the future, you can just add it to your calendar so that you don't forget about it and that you'll get a reminder for it. So you can set um, a time for the reminder. You can invite people to this event in your calendar and then add notes, etc. WhatsApp's a really great app to use for meetings and such because of these features that I showed you. So creating a call link and then screen sharing make WhatsApp super convenient and helpful. Okay, thank you for sticking around. I'm gonna show you how to buy a super sticker or a super thanks um, on YouTube. On our How To Authority channel, we enabled something called a super sticker. So as I said before, this basically just allows you to fund the channel with whatever amount of money that you want. And to access this, you're just gonna launch your YouTube and select a video. Um, if there's one in particular that you found very helpful, you would go to that one. And once you're here, so below the How To Authority channel name, to the right of that, you'll find the thanks. And so you'll click on this. Um, and this is where you would purchase that sticker. So there are some pre-typed options here, but if it's not the amount that you want, you can go to the right and click more and simply drag this dial um, up and down to select the amount of money that you want to donate. You can write a specific thank you. Clicking the box, 
um, and typing out a personalized thank you or a message, whatever you want. And once you're finished that, you're just gonna click buy and send. And then it's gonna bring you to the payment option. So if you have Apple Pay, you would just double click. Otherwise you would enter um, your credit card information. Anyways, thanks again, you guys. That's it for today's video. We all really appreciate your support. As always, I will see you in the next video.